Hey everyone, back working with Netbox, and today I'm going to be going through upgrades. Uh, as you can see in the lower left hand corner, I'm on version 2.9.9, and 2.11.7 is actually the latest version, which puts me, I think, if I did the math right, 21 revs off current. So I'm not the greatest Linux application administrator. On Windows, you know, it's a lot easier to upgrade your applications most of the time. It's a it's an executable that you double click and it does the upgrade for you. But Linux is a little little trickier and there's a lot of dependencies that you have to pay attention to. And if you have a good application designer, they'll they'll make that part of the process. But even today, I've yet to encounter a Linux process or a Linux upgrade that was just super straightforward, one command and you're done. Uh, so, so you can you can work your way through them, and typically I do. But where I fall flat is I can never remember from from upgrade to upgrade the steps that I needed to take. So what I've started to do for myself is create shortcut uh, shortcut scripts that can help me not necessarily remember. I guess it is sort of remember, but just get me through that upgrade process. And and I've done that for Netbox as well. So uh, everything that I'm going to be doing here is based off the the official upgrade information in the read the docs information. And I have everything installed or I have my netbox set up using option A, which is where we download the release instead of option B, which is cloning from the git repository. So the steps through here, they're they're relatively straightforward, uh, nothing too too crazy in here. But the thing that that gets a little cumbersome for me is the the versioning here. You have to keep track of what version you're going from, what version you're going to, and it, I, that's where I just came up with the script. The script makes it easier. It's less for me to remember. It gives me something functional to refer back to if I had to do anything custom for my environments. So let me jump into the script that I created, which is actually a Python script. And basically this Python script is going to take two arguments. It's going to take the T argument, which tells us, uh, tells the script what version I'm going to. And then the F argument, which says which version we're coming from. So now, as we step through the script, the, the from argument, which is getting stored in uh, go from, so here, and actually I'll start with two, go to. So here is the, the commands to download the, the version that I want, extract the version that I want, and then start running through the commands to copy all the files that we're going uh, from so here's the old version have to copy those over to the new version folder then actually execute the upgrade script and restart netbox so it's not a terribly complex process if python isn't your thing which believe me i can understand i also created a version for google docs which basically does the same thing and I'm exposing all the code here. So, hey, we're going from 299 to 2910 and through these concatenate statements gives me everything that I need to paste in. Uh, you'll see these sleep statements in there. I don't know that I necessarily need those. I started putting them in there as just something to give me a little bit of a delineation between this line running and the next line running and the next line running. I, it, you may try play with that with uh, on your own, see if that works for you, if you like that, if you not, if you don't, if you can do without it. Um, upgrade script.py. So we'll go ahead and I will load in my Python script. Oops, hold on, jump back in there. I definitely don't need that last bit at the end there, and I'll copy paste error. So now to run this script, uh, I will say Python 3 
upgrade script, I'm going from 2.9.9 to 2.9.10. It's going to generate the code for me. Then I just paste it back in. Wait. So it's reaching out now to, to GitHub, pulling down the copy that I requested, uh, 2910. Extracting it, creating the link. Now it's erroring here because there is no local requirements document to copy over. It's going to error again because there is no LDAP configuration file to copy over. Uh, once you set up an LDAP configuration, which I'll be doing in a different video, these two errors will go away. So finishes doing the rest of the copying, launches the actual upgrade script. And I'll be stepping through each version. Sometimes there are small versions that you can step between. Uh, I believe 2.11.6 and 2.11.7. It was either 6 to 7 or 5 to 6. One of those two versions had just a small bug in it. And then 11.6 or 11.7, whatever the next one came out. And you didn't have to necessarily go to that bugged version first. You could just step over it. So my general best practice for myself is to step through every version. Uh, you may not actually need to do that. Well, if you go through the release notes, uh, the, Jeremy, the, the maintainer, the primary maintainer on there, does a real good job of outlining what's changed, what's impacted. Uh, but for me, I like to go through each version uh, with a script like this. It doesn't take me a whole lot of time. So uh, it looks like my script here has finished. If I jump back over to Netbox, give it a refresh, you can see now I'm on 2.9.10. So it took me just a couple minutes and I was able to go from 9.9 to 9.10. So what I'm going to do now is just step through 2910 all the way up to 21117 uh, put it in fast forward so you don't have to watch that in normal speed uh, but I'll set a timer on my watch and we'll see how long it takes me to get from point A to point B see you on the other side and stop so that was 36 minutes and 50 seconds i'll condense down there for you and we'll do our last refresh and there we go run 2.11.7 so this may not be the best way to do this uh, it works for me this can easily be changed if there's something that changes in the the upgrade step somewhere in the future but you know uh, hopefully this helps you too and uh, if you do, you know, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, hopefully your upgrades go as easily as these because they don't. They're certainly no, they're certainly no fun. <laughs> Have a good day.